example, having a child is one of the best things that can happen in their lives. To others, it represents a nightmare that threatens to finish with their dreams. Either way, to have a child means to have a new responsibility. And if you're not ready to accept that, the idea of giving up your baby for adoption might come to your mind. Now, for those of you who are not from the United States, this might sound a bit weird to hear. In the land of Uncle Sam, each of the 51 states has what is called the Safe Haven Law. Basically, a law that allows parents from all over the country to give up their babies without having to worry about being prosecuted or arrested. While some people see parents who decide to give up their babies under the safe haven law as adoption surrenders, others believe those who do it are child abandoners. In a few words, the law has people who support it and people who oppose it. Now, before we jump into the main story, it's important for you to know a bit more about this law. The safe haven law does allow parents to give up their babies without having to worry about being prosecuted, arrested, or even questioned. However, there are some rules such parents have to follow. First, all babies have to be newborns. Each state in the land of Uncle Sam has its rules on how many days a newborn should be before being surrendered. Some states allow parents to leave their babies seven days after they were born, as some others will only accept those babies who are at most three days old. When a baby is surrendered, a parent is free to leave without having to worry about anything. However, the baby has to be unharmed or else the parent will be prosecuted. After newborns are examined and given medical care, they are sent to a Department of Child Services where they wait to be adopted. Police stations, hospitals, Walmarts, rescue squads, and fire stations are all typical locations in which parents can surrender their newborns. However, there is one state in the country of dreams where babies can be left inside of a box. This way, whoever leaves the child doesn't have to worry about ever having her face seen. The state we're talking about is Indiana, and the story of today's video has to do with a mother who decided to make use of the box we mentioned and leave her one-hour-old baby. Now, it's important to know the box where the infant was put is located in one of Indiana's fire departments. Once someone chooses to open the box, a silent alarm goes off and alerts firefighters about the situation. This way, it's assured that when someone decides to place their baby inside the safe haven drop box, a firefighter will rush to go check on the infant and call the medics to examine the newborn's body. In this particular case, Chuck Kohler, a 37-year-old volunteer firefighter, said his beeper went off when the unknown mother decided to open the safe haven box to leave her baby. Initially, he wasn't sure what he would find, especially because most of the times he had attended false alarms. Mainly because some people open the box out of curiosity to see if there is something inside or simply to throw garbage and leave dead animals. This time, though, it was different. As Kohler got close to the box, he heard a baby crying, and so he knew this was the real deal. When interviewed, he said he was a bit nervous about what he would find in the box. He had the feeling that after opening it, a wild animal would jump out of it and attack him. But contrary to his beliefs, what he found was a pretty little girl who looked at him right in the eyes and made him know there was nothing to be afraid of. The baby still had the umbilical cord and was less than one hour old, but fortunately, she was healthy. Another fireman, Nike Fakit, said to the interviewer he had nothing but good wishes to the mother of the little infant. He said we need to try to understand why some people would make the choice of leaving their babies for someone else to care for and that we should never rush to judge especially because we never know how hard the situation in which a parent who leaves up her baby is in. Having happened six months since the case became public, the baby is now in a foster house and waits to be adopted by a loving family. The law which allows parents to surrender their newborn children has been active since 1999 when it was first approved in the state of Texas under the name of the Baby Moses Law. 
Supporters of this law said approving this order was for the best, especially because before it existed, people used to abandon their babies in all kinds of places, from used suitcases to old drawers in a street.